remember the first time I went to a Jonathan Gold approved restaurant from the LA Weekly and you drive into a mini mall and you're like, really? Restaurants and food experiences that other people weren't writing about, he gave it value. It takes great storytelling to elevate food criticism to what Jonathan does. David! Jonathan was the first Blitzer Prize winner for food criticism. He brings you to his table. I do all the stuff you're supposed to do. I always reserve under different names. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I never know when Jonathan is coming. I have a whole series of throwaway phones just for reservation. Boom, he's here. Funny in the kitchen. It's kind of like the fat man's version of the born identity, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of celebrating the glorious mosaic of the city on somebody else's dime, I kept feeling as if I was getting away with something. But you want these guys to succeed. I was very busy and then just completely at a standstill. My son was pumping money to keep the place alive. And all of a sudden, the review came. I could not cook fast enough. To have someone say, come taste this food, helped me to embrace my culture because people care. People who come in for a couple weeks, stay at a hotel in Beverly Hills, take in what they can get to within 10 minutes in the rented car, and explain to you what Los Angeles is. The thing that people find hard to understand is the huge number of cultures that live in the city who come together in this beautiful and haphazard fashion. We are all citizens of the world, strangers together. Thanks. Warning, if you do not eat spicy food, do not order this. <clears throat> It's spicy enough. <laughs>